Hey everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. Today, I'm going to show you around the new RPOD 195. Now, it's the largest RPOD that they've ever made. It has a walk around bed, it's 22 feet 2 inches total length, weighs about 3,400 pounds, and it's their 10th anniversary edition that they're building this year. This is such a great layout. Let's go inside and take a look. Walking inside this 195, it's going to feel a lot like the 179 trailer. You've got the refrigerator here on the side. I love the two-door refrigerator. Look how open this is. Nice space. A very nice freezer space. And the wall on the other side here is going to have your controls. And it's also going to have like a little hanging rack. Always a great thing to have in a trailer, right? So up here, you've got a pre-wire for solar. So it's got the solar panel at the top and underneath, it's a power awning on the outside. So you've got the awning switches, the slide room in and out. That also is just a push button, really easy. You've got an awning light, a porch light, and then of course your courtesy light on the inside. Very simple. So when you walk in, you just hit the first switch the lights inside come on you don't have to come inside and fumble around let's take a look at the kitchen i love in this 10th anniversary edition the materials they use on the countertop it's a white stone although it actually is a man-made material it feels and looks like stone uh, it's a great surface because it's not going to stain easily it's not going to actually bang up. You don't have a trim piece around here that's going to come loose. I love the high arched faucet. That's always a great feature, but you have a very large sink. All kinds of things can actually go inside here and they're going to just be a, a great working kitchen. You notice there's a pleated blind back here. Lift it up. Big window right here in the kitchen. 110 on the left. So you can plug in your appliances, set them behind the sink or over here on the counter. And then two burner stove with a glass top. These glass tops are so nice because I love the way they are simply an extension of your countertop. Now the, stove, the sink cover over here is as well. So you've got a lot of flat surface to work with unless you're using one or the other of the appliances. The hood vent has a light on it and a fan. And of course, your shaker style cabinets up here. Now you do have the curved front, so these aren't a full depth at the top like they are at the bottom, but there is a lot of space in here. These are about 12 inches deep, so you've got a lot of storage across the top. Let's look underneath. They have put a nice modern uh, rounded wood piece on the front of the uh, sink. So it just gives it a real stylish feel. Uh, the cabinet underneath, you've got two shelves here, and then three drawers. And I love drawers, they make everything so handy. You can use them for all kinds of different things in the kitchen, but everything is very accessible. Now let's look, let's back up just a little bit. Right here, you've got a converter. When you open this up, this is the breaker and fuses. So with your electrical, if you have anything that, that turns off, this is where you're gonna go and check first. This converter also changes the shore power into 12 volt, so your batteries are constantly trickle charging when you're plugged in. This is an interesting feature. You have a little dog bowls put right in here. When you're traveling, you may need to grab those really quickly Feed the dog, give them some water, slides right back in here. And you know, I would also keep treats and anything else in here that you needed. If you look on the other side, 
this is a microwave confection. So what that means is that you can actually use it as a microwave or you can use it as a regular oven. You can grill steaks, you could bake a cake, anything that you wanted to do could be done in this microwave confection oven. Below is the furnace. There's a 20,000 BTU furnace in this R-Pod. So you're gonna keep nice and toasty if it's cold outside. And then take a look over here in this cabinet. A really nice pantry storage space. You could use this for gear. You could use it for pantry, clothing, just about anything, maybe a combination. But I love the door and the accessibility. In a trailer this size, I think it's just a wonderful feature. Before we leave the kitchen area, they have added some extra indirect lighting here that I think is really cool. They've got a switch right here on the front that's gonna give you some down lighting onto these cabinets. Now that's not only gonna be really nice to have if you're camping in a dark area and you just need some indirect lighting to find your way around, but it's also really cool if you're looking inside these drawers and it's in the evening, you'll be able to see everything in these drawers and have a light right there to see inside the cabinets. Really great feature, I think. A very nice add-on between that and the light that you have right here in your hood vent. You could get some nice uh, kitchen low lighting going. Let's take a look at the sofa area. Now the sofa seating in this 195 is very comfortable. It's the same sofa that you'll see in the 179. You've got areas right here that make kind of a U shape. Of course, these pieces come up and you've got storage underneath on both sides. And when you're actually bringing the slide out in, you will pull up these two cushions. Now the base is attached to the floor so it stays there but you pull up these cushions, bring the slide out in, and it's gonna come in and still leave a small walkway to get to the bathroom. That's great because when you stop at a rest area, you don't have to put the slide out out. You can come on in, get to the kitchen, and slide into the bathroom. Great, you could even make it to the bed and take a nap without having to put your slide out out. All right, this also makes a bed. So the table that goes here sets up right in front. Now we don't have the table up right now, but we'll show you what that looks like because it makes it a little easier for us to walk around. Now, a lot of people don't take their table with this unit. They just use the sofa area. And when you need a table, there's usually a picnic table outside. Anyway, you can do it either way, but there's a, such a nice comfortable seating area here it does make a bed and you've got the pleated shade with the window behind it that pulls up and down. Um, let's take a look at the storage above it. You've got some nice storage up here. Look at the frosted glass on the front. It gives it a real modern look. And inside, this storage space is not divided right here. So you could fit something longer in here if you needed to. The gas props hold it open. Another area of storage. So you've got storage, remember, in the bottom corners of the seat and then up above it here. Let's take a look at the bathroom. Now, as we're heading into the bathroom, I just want to point out the walls of this. I love the light wallboard because it gives it a real open feel, but it's all curved on the edges. You don't have any corners and that along with the curved edges of the sofa not only give it that modern look, but it also just makes it really easy to move around in here. It feels really spacious. The Dometic controls right here are gonna control your heat and your air conditioner. Next to that, this is your monitor panel, panel, excuse me, that's a monitor panel, and it's gonna actually show you the levels in your tanks. Now in this unit, you've got a 36 gallon fresh water tank, 30 gallon gray, and 30 gallon black. So by pushing the, the buttons here, you'll be able to see your tank levels and your battery levels. The water heater, you've got a water pump and a water heater here, so you can just push the switch, turn those on. Makes it very simple, very easy. And this is going to be your 
light switch. Let's head into the bathroom and take a look. Now inside this bathroom, it's got some counter space here with the 110 plug on the side. I love having a little counter space to set your um, little bag that carries all your bathroom items or any extra towels. Uh, underneath there's some storage area with a net in front for easy access because obviously a cabinet door might be difficult there, but you do have an enclosed cabinet under the sink. Let's take a look at that. Storage both places, as well as the medicine cabinet above with the shelf underneath. There you are. Nice bathroom storage, particularly for a smaller lightweight trailer. The power fan in the roof has three different settings and it's actually going to pull the air out and it's a great exhaust fan for the bathroom but you'll notice the bathroom door doesn't go all the way to the ceiling either. So it can actually pull air from all over the trailer to get it out. That's gonna help with your heating. It's gonna help with your cooling by keeping that air in motion. And if it's really hot outside, like it is today, it's super great to have all the hot air just pulled out of the top while your air conditioner is cooling this off initially. The shower is really spacious for the size and they have a solid door bar here that just slides open in the track. So you don't have a loose shower curtain that's gonna come out uh, and let water escape onto the floor. The skylight in the top gives you a little extra height. And of course the handheld wand has an on and off switch on it. Really a great bathroom for this size trailer. But here's the best part. Let's take a look at the new walk around bed. Now the walk around bed is just makes this trailer feel so open. It makes it an easy exit, easy entry onto the bed from both sides. I love the lighted cabinets next to it. It just gives it a nice nightlight type feel and very easy to see what's in the cabinet. Inside the cabinet, you will see there is a hanging rod, but you could also put shelves in here if that worked for you better. The switch for the light inside is right here, so it can kind of be your night light if you want. You do have two lights right over the bed, which is nice. This is the smoke detector. And underneath, you've got these two uh, uh, side tables, basically, uh, here that you could put your book on, lay your glasses, whatever you needed next to the bed. On the front of that, on both sides, there is not only a 110 plug, but two USB ports. Great place to charge your phone, run any electronics that you need to right there next to the bed. You've also got an upper shelf up there to use as well. So lots of great space and a walk around bed. I love that. Let's look on the other side at a few things over there. Now on this side, there is the television. It's on a swing out arm, so you can swing it around, see it from the sofa, or leave it in place and watch it from the bed. There is a safety strap for traveling that you just clip on. Up here, the Furion stereo can either, either um, run the stereo inside or the speakers outside. Very simple to use. Uh, it's a Bluetooth, so you've got that if you wanted to stream some music. All right, a little shelf up here with an elastic cord. All kinds of things could go there. I'm sure one thought is going to be some type of electronics or maybe some movies if you carry movies with you and you don't want to stream them. Uh, great features. You've got a speaker here, a speaker in front, and two on the outside. The windows have a pull-down shade. Blackout shades all the way around, but with windows on both sides, you can get a great cross breeze if you're not running the air conditioner. I love that feature. Again, you've got the plugs next to this side as well as the other. So you don't have to fight over which side has the plug on it. Great feature, I love the curve in front. There's also storage underneath this bed. If you lift this up, 
You've got another storage compartment right here. So room for lots of different areas of storage. For those of you that really like to sleep in the cold, the AC is right here above the bed. You can blow this vent right down on you and it's gonna keep this cabin really cool. LED lights throughout the inside and the outside of this R-Pod. I love the, the design, the light colors. You've got a few upholstery choices here, so you can really make this feel like your home. All right, let's go outside and take a look at the features outside. All right. Now this R-Pod has the 10th anniversary exterior graphics on it. I love the silver. It has the 10th anniversary sticker on the back. And the new aluminum steps, very lightweight, very easy to put in and out. The swing away handle is great going in and out of this trailer. Of course, when you're not using it, you just lift it and turn it into the trailer. The awning goes in and out seamlessly. It's a push of a button with the LED lights on the inside to light up your area under the awning whenever you're using it, especially in the evening when you want that nice lighting here. Uh, let's go around to the back and take a look. Remember our refrigerator is right on the left when you walk in the door, so your refrigerator venting is back here along with the water heater venting as well. Now all the R-Pods are gonna come with a rear spare tire that's mounted with the black cover on it. Makes everything ready to go. You don't have to crank underneath trying to get a spare tire out. Now the 195 has the ladder on the back and so you can access the roof. Also, you've got your furnace right here so the, the vent for the furnace is on the back side as well. LED tail lights, of course, that you'll see on all the R-Pods. Uh, coming around the corner, your shore cord plugs in right here. Next to that, it's gonna be the cable or the satellite plug-in. If you're at a park and they have cable TV or if you want to use a portable satellite, this is the connection. So you know the Schwintech system is one of the best in the industry. Now underneath, you can see your gray tank dump right there. Radial tires, aluminum wheels. On this side is going to be the black tank. So you have the black tank in front, the gray in the back. Now you can actually, when before these go into the dump station, you can get a Y that actually puts them together, makes it a little bit easier. Or you can simply move your hose from one side to the other. So on the front side of the trailer, this is where the water connections are. The top one is gonna be where you fill that 36 gallon water tank. The bottom one is the city connection. If you're running straight from the hydrant into the faucets, you simply connect here with a water pressure regulator and you're good to go. Let's take a look at the storage under the bed. Now this storage goes all the way through. So a good place to store the table if maybe you're not using it inside, your outdoor gear, your outside chairs, anything else that you need to take with you. Lots of great storage right here. I love the magnet catch that they have for it. Makes it super easy to just open it up, keep the door out of your way until you're done using it. So around the front you have the electric jack, which is an option on the R-Pods, and the hard cover on the propane tank, which comes with every R-Pod. Your battery is gonna mount right behind it on the frame. And you can see the diamond plate rock guard right here on the front. That's an awesome uh, feature to be sure that the front of it doesn't get dented up. Now, now's a great time to talk about the actual construction. This has got aluminum side framing, floor framing, and this fiberglass has not only the hard fiberglass exterior, but it also is laminated and it uses Asdell. Now, if you're not familiar with Asdell, Asdell is the product that, unlike wood, is not susceptible to any water penetration. So it's great for the exterior of a camper, 
because it's not going to mildew, it's not going to expand, you're not going to have any of the problems that you might with a wood paneling. Excellent structure build on this RPUB, which is why they've been top of their class for 10 years. All right, this connection is for an exterior hose if you needed a spray port. The other side of our pass-through vent. And of course on the front side you've got two speakers on the top, the porch light, 110 plugs if you want to plug in your party lights or anything else out front. And this is the black tank flush. What that means is that if you are cleaning out your black tank and you'd like to hook up a hose here, this actually will help to clean that black tank completely. Uh, you hook up a hose, run water through it as you're dumping it, you get a very clean black tank and that's the key to keep your camper working well and smelling great. All right, back around to the front again. I hope I've shown you a lot about this 195. This is the walk around bed that the RPOD just came out with. So if you have questions or anything that we haven't answered, please comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much, and I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV in Round Rock, and I will see you next time. <laughs>